It's a beautiful day. Welcome to Island Marine. Leaving our docks and headed north, you'll go by celebrity mansions, dolphins, beautiful birds, amazing places to eat out on the water. Okay, captains, grab your maps and let's get started. If you flip over your map, you'll find us in the bottom left-hand corner where it says Island Marine. Almost all of our boats are equipped with GPS garments. They will show you where you are, your speed, and your depth. If you already have a destination planned, we can route it on your GPS before you leave the dock. That way you will be able to follow a purple line all the way to your destination and back to our docks. It's important as you back out of the marina, you head straight into the ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway. The Intercoastal Waterway is a channel that runs north and south through the islands. As you're pulling away from the docks, you must go at a slow speed and minimum wake. Before heading north, make sure you get straight into the ICW. There is a sandbar that extends south off this mangrove island, so if you get into the channel first and then head north, you will avoid the sandbar. ICW is made up by green and red channel markers. All green markers are on the gulf side and all red ones are on the mainland side. The channel is 50 feet wide and 9 to 12 feet deep at all times. But it's important that you stick inside the ICW because waters outside the channel can be 6 inches of water. The slow speed minimum wake sign shows that you need to be under 1500 RPMs while you're operating in this area. All bridges must be taken at a slow speed and a minimum wake. Make sure you use caution because you might have to share the space underneath the bridge with the incoming boat going the opposite direction. It's important that every bridge you go under, you go under the middle segment of the bridge. Some bridges, the side segments are very shallow, so it's important that you're always in the middle. Once you pass underneath the Indian Rocks Bridge and you pass the Resume Normal Safe Operation sign, you can speed up and start heading down the channel. Just be careful because the channel gets narrow and if you're going fast, it's hard to stay inside the ICW. As you pass through the Bel Air Bridge, you open up to Clearwater Bay. Clearwater Bay has celebrity homes, a pass for hurricane boats to make it out to the Gulf of Mexico, downtown Clearwater, which has restaurants and shops, and a lot of marine life, including tropical birds and dolphins. Our first stop is Compass Island. You want to get off at Channel Marker 6 and go northwest about a quarter mile. Compass Island is made up of the shells that are dredged out of the channel. It's not a sandy beach, so make sure that if you go on the island, you're wearing sandals. If anchoring at Compass Island, anchor on the southwest side, the opposite side of the tree. The side with the tree has a shoal that extends towards the channel. It's important when you're anchoring that you're at least in four feet of water and you have seven times the depth and scope from your anchor to your boat. Also, if you're anchoring on an island, that you place your stern anchor on the island. When getting to channel marker 12, you can either head west and out into the Gulf of Mexico or keep on heading north to the Clearwater Causeway. If you decide to head west, follow the channel towards the San Key Bridge. Be careful because it veers a little bit to the north on the way out. If you're a pontoon boat or a bay liner, you are not allowed past this point. It's considered the Gulf of Mexico and out of bounds. We also do not allow our boats to anchor inside the pass due to the riptides. If you want to go to Shepherd's, we'll show you a place to park in a minute. For the hurricane drivers, keep on heading out the pass at a minimum wake until you reach channel markers 6 and 7. Then you can resume normal operation. However, keep on heading west until you get to channel markers 2 and 3. Then you can either head north to 3 Rooker or south to Johns Pass. When entering and leaving Clearwater Pass, it's important to pass through channel markers 3 and 4 because of underwater sandbars that extend out past the rock jetty. If you are not headed out into the Gulf, let's keep on heading north on the ICW starting at red channel marker number 12. As you pass underneath the bridge, this channel will take you to Bon Appetit, the Old Day Fish Cafe, Caledee Sea Island, and Three Rooker. Even though the beautiful islands on the left might have boats on them, the waters around them are very shallow, so make sure you stick on the ICW. If you're stopping at Bon Appetit or the Old Day Fish Cafe, okay. you want to stop between channel marks number 4 and 5. 
you'll see a sub-channel marker, number one, that will lead you into the restaurants. The wooden docks outside Bon Appetit are where you can park your boat. Make sure you use your fenders, bow line, and stern line to make sure you secure your boat right. If you go down the boardwalk, you'll see the Old Day Fish Cafe where you can get delicious $5 fish tacos. Let's get back on the ICW and head from green channel marker number 5 north to red channel marker 18 right before the Dunedin Causeway. Causeway up the channel to our final destination, Three Rooker. Once you get to channel marker 36, you want to start heading west and start heading towards the north point of Three Rooker Island. If the weather is calm, hurricane deck boats can go out into the gulf and anchor on the outside of Three Rooker. Make sure you go far enough out to where you miss the shoals on the north tip. This is where hurricane deck boats can anchor out in the gulf. Make sure the bow or the front of the boat is into the waves and both stern and bow anchors are being used. All pontoons and bay liners must stick to the east side of the island. As you come off channel marker number 35, head to the north tip and make sure you stick inside the lagoon. The water inside Three Rooker is calm and flat, which makes it fun for paddle boarding, kayaking, and swimming. Just make sure that when you're anchoring, you're in four feet of water and use both anchors. From the Island Marine family, be safe and have a great time. Thank you.